This terrible sound, The Battle of Chickamauga, by Peter Cousins delves into the harrowing and complex events of the Battle of Chickamauga during the American Civil War. Cousins provides a vivid narrative that captures the essence of this pivotal battle, emphasizing the human dimension of war, strategic decisions, and the consequences of conflict. Cousins opens with a gripping account of the battle, setting the stage for a detailed exploration of the events that unfolded in the late summer of 1863. He immediately immerses the reader in the chaos and terror of war by describing the terrible sound of cannon fire and the screams of wounded soldiers. This visceral introduction serves as a powerful hook, drawing readers into the narrative and highlighting the intense emotional and physical toll of war. Throughout the book, Cousins effectively weaves together primary source material, personal accounts, and military analysis. He brings the battle to life by incorporating the perspectives of soldiers and officers on both sides, allowing readers to connect with the experiences of those who fought in this brutal conflict. Cousins' use of first-hand accounts helps humanize the historical figures involved, making them more relatable and evoking empathy for their struggles. Cousins delves deeply into the strategic and tactical aspects of the Battle of Chickamauga. He explores the leadership and decision-making of Generals Braxton Bragg and William Rosecrans, highlighting their strengths and weaknesses. Cousins dissects the pivotal moments in the battle, providing a comprehensive understanding of the movements and engagements that shaped the outcome. This detailed analysis is essential for comprehending the intricacies of the battle and its broader significance within the context of the Civil War. Furthermore, Cousins addresses the impact of terrain and topography on the battle's outcome. He emphasizes the significance of the Chickamauga Creek, Snodgrass Hill, and other geographical features in shaping the course of the conflict. By describing the challenges and opportunities presented by the landscape, he underscores the importance of understanding the environment in military history. One of the book's strengths is its exploration of the consequences of the Battle of Chickamauga. Cousins does not simply conclude with the battle's outcome, he goes on to analyze the repercussions on both the soldiers and the civilian population. He highlights the trauma and suffering endured by the wounded and captures the grim reality of the aftermath. The battle's devastating impact on the local population is also depicted, underlining the broader social and human costs of war. Cousins' writing is engaging and evocative, painting a vivid picture of the battle and its participants. He uses descriptive language to convey the chaos and violence of the battlefield, making it easy for the reader to visualize the horrors of war. His storytelling prowess keeps the narrative engaging, even for those less familiar with military history. While this terrible sound is a compelling work, it is not without some limitations. The book's dense and detailed nature may be overwhelming for readers seeking a more concise overview of the Battle of Chickamauga. Cousin's commitment to thorough research and analysis may occasionally lead to information overload, making it challenging to keep track of the numerous individuals and units involved. In conclusion, Peter Cousin's This Terrible Sound, The Battle of Chickamauga, is a comprehensive and emotionally resonant examination of a pivotal battle during the American Civil War. Cousin's vivid storytelling, meticulous research, and attention to the human dimension of war make this book a valuable resource for those interested in military history. By providing a nuanced and immersive account of the battle, Cousins invites readers to contemplate the cost of war, the intricacies of military strategy, and the enduring legacy of a conflict that reverberates through history.